Hi there, let's evaluate the indefinite integral of the tangent function. First thing we should do is rifle through our brains, try to think, do we know any function whose derivative is tangent of x? I can't think of any, so I suppose we'll have to be a little bit more clever to evaluate this integral. Then it'd be a reasonable choice to rewrite tangent as sine divided by cosine, since as far as integrals and derivatives go, we'd probably feel a little more comfortable with sine and cosine than we do tangent. So the integral of tangent x, of course, tangent is the same as sine over cosine. So we start there. Now we're going to have to use u substitution. You should think to try u sub here because cosine is the derivative of sine and sine is a multiple of the derivative of cosine. So there's a chance we might see some nice cancellation if we write things in terms of u and du. Then the question is, what should u be? Should it be sine x or cosine x? If we let u be sine x, then when we solve for dx, we'll end up with a factor of cosine in the denominator, and we don't have a factor of cosine in the numerator to cancel that out with, so that's probably not going to work. Let's go ahead and try u equals cosine of x. Since the derivative of cosine is minus sine, this is going to end up putting a factor of sine in the denominator, which will cancel out with our sine in the numerator. So let u equal cosine x. Then take the derivative on the left, giving us du, and the derivative on the right, giving us minus sine of x dx. Now we'll just solve for dx and rewrite everything in terms of u. Solving this equation for dx gives us that dx equals negative 1 over sine because we divided both sides by minus sine, and then of course we've got du there. So let's go ahead and rewrite our integral now. Sine x in the numerator, I suppose we will just leave that there for now and we'll see how the simplification works out. In the denominator, we have cosine of x, which of course is u. I keep accidentally erasing this stuff. Cosine of x is u, so we'll put u in the denominator. And then dx, what is dx? dx is negative 1 over sine x du. So we'll just go ahead and duplicate that and bring it over. Now we see some cancellation in our integral. I'll go ahead and get this u sub out of the way so we have some more room to write. This integral is equal to the sine x factors cancel out. The factor of negative 1, I'll go ahead and bring that in front of the integral. So we're left with negative integral of 1 over u. We've got that u in the denominator, and I'll write that as u to the minus 1, and then du. And this is an easy integral. This is an integral we should all have memorized. The integral of u inverse is going to give us natural log of u. And we should put it in absolute value bars so that this could be taken over a positive or a negative interval. Don't want to forget the addition of our arbitrary constant of integration, so we'll put plus c there. And then definitely don't forget that negative factor that needs to be in front. So our integral is negative natural log of u plus c. Let's go ahead and replace u with what we set it equal to in terms of x. So this is going to be equal to negative natural log of u is cosine of x, so we have cosine of x inside the log and still plus c. We could leave it like this, but we do know some log rules that could let us write this slightly differently if we wanted. When we have a factor in front of a natural log, that's the same as having that factor as a power for the thing inside the log. So negative log cosine is the same as log cosine to the power of negative 1, where this is a multiplicative inverse, as in 1 over cosine. 1 over cosine should ring a bell. What's that? That's secant, another trigonometric function. So we could go ahead and write this as the natural log of 
cosine to the negative one is one over cosine, and that is secant. So this is natural log of secant of x plus c, and that is a beautiful final answer. And that's how we find the indefinite integral of tangent of x. It is the natural log of secant of x plus c. In order to do it, we just had to rewrite tangent as sine over cosine, and then use a pretty straightforward u substitution. We know the integral of u inverse is ln u, and then it's just a little bit of log rules and a trigonometric stuff from there. Hope that helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Scaling the stratosphere, coming down soon.